April the 1st and I'm back here with another video. I had quite a response to my bacon grease candles that I was trying out a few videos back. So today I made a bacon grease buddy candle and uh, these are the Everstrike matches. I don't know, right top on them, saves yourself a lot of time from picking up. And uh, now this is bacon we cook today. Maple flavored bacon. A little more expensive than I usually buy, so seems to be working pretty good, actually. And, uh, hey. Set it off. Give it as a present to a friend. Tell them to burn it in the woods, and you can stay home safely and know that they'll probably have visitors while you're, while you're home safe. I don't know. It kind of looks neat. It can be done in a pinch, I guess, and that's the thing had no pizza box I used. A couple other things. I watched the Rainbow Hiker today, and he was making uh, gas stoves out of cans, and I'd make quite a few. And so, watching how he did it, I'd saw, I'd make a couple today. And so, I'll turn my camera around using my Samsung tablet, and I made them out of two pop cans. I like this his way because I only used one can. Now that's coming apart, so I'm going to glue that together. I found with the cans I've made. Got some uh, stove cement, which helps hold everything together. I like that. The only thing is, I always have a problem getting it straight. I uh, do have to be careful with them, but I like I like the method. And I have one here on the stove. Well, it's burning. It's pretty hard to see, but I notice with these, you don't get the high flame from it. Actually, I think that flame's gone. And yes, it is. Uh, I came up with this idea a while back using fuels. I use methyl hydrate, what you put in your car for gasoline antifreeze. Uh, these here I save when I get my dishwasher uh, stuff jet dry for the dishwasher. Great little containers. Very solid. So let's do this. Open that up. Yeah. Add some in. In. Underneath, I'm using a pickle jar container. My wife will get upset. She saw me showing the stove. Uh, pickle jar container. It really works well, either to light it and, uh, yeah. I've just found that what I've burnt so far in using these today, I haven't had a big flame, which is one of the reasons I don't like the open. I like the, the penny stoves. You don't get the middle flame, get the outside, but I like this. It has the air flow from using the hole punch on the side. So, it's going to be working pretty well. This one in mini Coke cans. And there we go. So, I don't know if you can see it coming up through, but it's coming up. I'm quite impressed. So, I'll maybe make some more as the day goes. Uh, a couple other things here. I've been picking up these here, the little multi-tools. Grocery store, they've had them down for four bucks. I was at a convenience store slash restaurant, they had them for two bucks. I picked them up, I like them, you know, I know they're not a big name brand, but for better pliers, I have my toolbox where I dig into. And when I was at the restaurant slash convenience store, at the till, they had these knives. Lansky knives, pocket knives, which I really, for five ninety nine, dollars think, they're the, they're the bomb, or they're the, as my kids say, sick, which is the new way of saying cool. They're sick. They're cool. And um, I like it. In fact, I bought one for my buddy, the bank manager, and uh, I like them. Probably take them with me. So that's what's happening here, and I'm still burning. We had that big blizzard I recorded here the other night. Uh, I've had a boat probably in the back air for maybe 10 years. I've lived here 16 years. Has never blown away in any hurricane or strong winds. That night it blew away, had chased it in the field, brought it closer to the house. One thing I must say I learned in that storm, I have rope, but it's all in the shed. And I can't get to the shed, at least that night in the storm. I had some junky dollar store rope, which I've replaced, tied it up. Hey, always have rope available in the house in case you got to tie something down. Have at least 100 feet or more so you, you know you've got something to work with. And I like dollar store stuff, but there are some things I won't get there. And one of them is their matches. I'll spend a little extra and get the Ever Everlight Anywhere Strike. 
I just find it matches junky and the rope. Well, I've used it for anchor rope, but I wouldn't rely on it. Anyways, April the 1st, I'm still boiling here, and I think I just run out. Let's see. Yeah, I've, no, I still have a flame. Anyways, the pot's boiled, so I think I'll make that into a cup of tea. Anyways, have a good day. More videos to come. Like, like if you do. If you want, subscribe and comment if you want. Talk to you later. Bye now.